Hey guys, it's Hamza. And in today's video, we have some great news. As you guys can see, we have officially closed out at over $170,000 in this portfolio. We are at $171,639. That's amazing. This is the first day that we actually closed over $170,000. It feels like just yesterday that we were trying to get to $160,000. And lo and behold, we are here one week later closing at over $171,000. Now we did touch $170,000 multiple times during the week, but the week was quite choppy. So we were down, up, down, up. We ended up closing most days at $169,000, just shy of $170,000. And today, finally, we were able to break it. And the reason we broke it was primarily because of Apple. So if you guys look at the chart over here, we actually started the day off at $168,000 and then towards the end of the day, all my Apple calls start, finally started paying off and that is when we went over $170,000. I apologize for this video launching so late guys. I was actually at one of my real estate developments that just finished which is why this video had to launch this late. But I am here for you guys, I promise you guys that we will be posting updates every single day whether we're up or down and here we are giving you guys an update. Now the good thing is we end ended up closing the week positive. So that's really good. If I go back over the one month chart, we are up over 20%, which is an amazing thing for this portfolio. Now, really quickly, let's jump into the options. So I have time. Time is at negative 220, which is not an issue at all for me because once this breaks even, I am actually going to sell my time calls. I have 10 calls in time. I'm going to sell them and buy a thousand shares because the stock is so cheap the option is very expensive to hold and because the option is only good till July, I plan on buying 1,000 more shares in time and that's my plan. Clove is doing well. Apple, I actually was at a loss of over $1,000 in Apple just intraday and then towards the end of the day, the stock started climbing and my losses became minimal, $250, which is not bad at all. DraftKing doing well. Fubo also doing well. GM, I'm not going to lose much sleep over because I still have till the end of the year for these calls. Now, I did sell three GM calls earlier in the week for a profit and these are the two calls that I got left with. Now, before I jump into the stocks, I quickly wanted to tell you guys that if you guys are considering becoming members of the channel, you can hit the button. It's right next to the subscribe button. You would be supporting me. You would be supporting the channel and you would be part of an awesome growing community. I also do post member only content and I plan on doing weekly member only lives where we can communicate with each other and see how to plan for the weeks ahead. So if you want to be part of this amazing community that just hit that join button, become a member. I also post signals on what the market is looking at. I also talk about stocks that I am buying and selling actively in the members only section. So with that out of the way, I'm quickly going to go over the stock. So stocks, as you all know, we have snow, we're losing money in that. Neo, I am losing money in that, not going to lose too much sleep. Apple did go up today, which was great because my options really paid off. Jumia doing well, couldn't complain. BNGO absolutely on fire, can't complain there. ACB, I was hoping to get out of when it was at a high. I did not, so I'm, I guess I'm going to continue to hold it until we do see another weed stock rush. So once that happens, Hopefully ACB recovers and I'm going to be out of that stock. Piton losing a little money. Excel fleet. My God, Excel fleet. I do not know when this stock is going to pick up. It rallied a little bit today for a bit, but I think I must have bought this stock at its ultimate high, which, which is why I'm just waiting for it to kind of recover. So we're going to skip Excel fleet because it keeps hurting me to even look at it. NNDM looking good. I am going to continue to buy more NNDM. I'm looking for a good entry point. That is going to be sometime after the 14th because they are going to be offering more shares directly to the public. So once that happens, hopefully the stock price dips and I'm going to be making a huge purchase in NNDL. I'm just letting you guys know in advance. Number one stock pick is down open door or open technologies, whatever you guys want to call it. It is down. Good entry point to enter right now for anybody looking to buy open door. MLND almost break even. NAK I don't know when that's going to break even, but whenever it does, we're going to get rid of it. Clove looking good. I do have 500 shares in Clove, as you guys can see, and I'm very excited about this company. I'm going to continue to hold these shares for a long time. ISR looking good. SRPT looking good. ARK Invest ETF across the board looking good. I am going to be investing more in the ARK Invest ETF. I know previously I did say that I may be exiting the ETF, which I will be in this portfolio. However, I will be increasing my holdings into all three ARK ETFs plus the space ETF that they are going to launch very soon in a separate portfolio. And we'll cover that from time to time when I exit from here and move that portfolio in a separate account. 
STPK looking good, EXPC looking good, CCIV once again on fire does not disappoint. As we get closer to the merger and rumors and leaked information, the stock just continues to go up, which is amazing. TMDI looking good, SENS looking great. Nokia actually looking very good to buy right now. So I am considering buying Nokia. I'm gonna look into it further next week and decide whether I wanna add more positions in Nokia. Airgain looking good, PCTEL looking good as well, GNUS looking great. Now PCTEL I am losing a little bit of money in, but I'm not too upset about that because I know long term the stock is going to continue to go up. LTBR did have a massive dive today, but I am confident that it will come back. This is, in my opinion, a $20 stock. This is my personal opinion, so I am actually okay with holding LTBR long term. TTOO doing very well. I am going to add more positions into that. SWN looking good. Holicity looking great as well. Now, VGAC, I am losing, as you guys can see, a little bit of money, but I'm not too worried about it because there is not enough news on VGAC just yet. This is one of those stocks that is going to go from 0 to 100 fairly quickly, which is why it is at 0 right now, which is where I'm holding it. And I'm hoping that it does go to 100 very soon. And whenever it does, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait it out. And whenever it does, I'm going to be there for the ride. As you guys can see, I have 500 shares in it, so I do believe in the company. Sana, almost at break even, which means it may be a good point for me to enter. Now, I do feel like this stock may potentially dip a little more. And if it does, I am going to continue to gradually buy more shares into this company because they did IPO very recently. It's very common for stocks to go below market price when they ipo this recently so it may be a buy opportunity for me i'm waiting i'm gonna watch and i'm gonna buy when i feel like the time is right so for now i'm just watching it pltr unfortunately i did not get out before their 2020 2021 forecast i'm assuming what they had to say was not very good because i myself did not listen to the call um, however i am going to continue to hold pltr long term now i guess WWR looking good. Baba looking great. I am going to continue to buy more Baba, hopefully. VXX, UVXY. Both of these stocks are hedging against the market, so they are shorting the market, actually. So what that means is, is that I am now starting to take positions shorting the market because I do believe that we are going to see a little bit of volatility moving forward. I actually am going to make this portfolio 20% short, meaning 20% of my money, which is over $15,000, around $20,000, well, $15,000, is going to go towards shorting the market. And that is my plan. Sava, I'm losing money on. Fubo, I made some money on. I bought this stock literally yesterday at the dip, and already I am up $500. So very excited for Fubo. GNOC, looking okay. NGAC, I'm losing a little bit of money, but I can't complain too much. It's still looking good. Pace looking good. EXPI, EXP Realty looking great. I can't wait for Grant Cardone to take this stock 10x. I feel like he has become the new spokesperson for this company. And as a result, we are going to see this company go up in value. Time looking great. I am losing money, which means it may be time to actually buy those thousand shares and cost average my cost a little down. Polar Energy looking good. HAAC, I made this acquisition yesterday. It is very good. And now, with that being said, we are going to go over the stocks that I purchased today during the dip. I did buy Tesla at $796. I'm up $210. I also did buy GRWG. I did find a good entry point for me to buy this share. I also bought a thousand shares of CLBS and I am already, let me just click on this really quickly and show you guys, I'm already up 11% in one day of buying this share. How crazy is that? So if I would have put $100,000 in this share, I would have been $11,000 richer today. Now that we've covered all the stocks, let's cover crypto. Bitcoin looking good. I can't complain. I am up $6,800 and Ethereum, you guys can't see it over here, but I am at an all-time high. Ethereum is currently at 1857 and my profits alone in Ethereum are 146%. I think Ethereum still has room to run. I am also going to be investing in Ethereum moving forward. All right, guys, it is Friday night. I know you guys are busy or have other things to do. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what the portfolio is looking like today. And we did officially close over $170,000. I want to congratulate all of you who have been copying my trades because I know there's a lot of you because I get a lot of DMs on that. And I want to thank you for supporting the channels. We did add a lot of members to this channel very recently. So thank you for that. I am truly grateful for your support. Just like that, my name is Hamza and I will see you guys next video.